Hey, what's up, you guys? So, I was talking to myself. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. <laughs> um, so, update. Um, I'm not working now. Uh, I've been out of work for a week and two days. Um, so, on my downtime, I like to help out friends. Um, so, a customer came to me with uh, a 2005 Chevy Impala uh, 3.4. Um, the issue is, uh, it's overheating. Um, <clears throat> so he's bought a couple of stuff, um, and I'm sorry, there's a bug right there. Um, he's bought some stuff, asked me to change them. Um, I hate doing, I hate doing that. Just changing parts without, you know, looking at the vehicle, but he insists that I change these parts. So I, I just do it. Um, yeah, it's been overheating. Uh, I turn on the vehicle and I get some white smoke coming from the exhaust, which um, indicates uh, a blown head gasket. Um, I did change the oil though, and there was no milky residue, no, I mean, nothing. So maybe we caught it just in time or, you know, who knows what it, what it might be. O2 sensor maybe? Um, I don't know. I'm just spitting stuff out. So if I'm wrong, correct me. Um, uh, so I got this right here. Um, I've had this, the compression uh, tester kit. And I'm going to go ahead and test the compression in the, uh, in the engine itself. And that should indicate... Uh, if we have a blown head gasket or not. There's also something they sell at AutoZone, which you stick inside the uh, coolant reservoir, and you put some blue uh, liquid in there, and then uh, the if the water turns yellow, that indicates that there is uh, a blown head gasket, which is a lot easier. So, um, unfortunately, I didn't go to the store and get that. But I did have this just sitting in the garage at home. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, but... Um, other than that, I've just been catching up on sleep. Uh, it's funny because my wife is always telling me, you know, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. And I don't know, I just, just being out of, uh, out of work, you know, um, I just want to rest, but yeah, um, she lets me sleep in which is good, otherwise I'd be grumpy and all that stuff. Um, so this customer also has a uh, Ford Ranger and a uh, Mazda. Uh, the Mazda has a bad engine, so he's just thinking about selling that. So um, he also has a Crown Victoria, which is running. It's over there, it's parked over there. Um, and then, uh, let me just show you those real quick. The Ranger, then the Mazda. His, his Impala's parked back there near his house. And then I got my Hoopty right here. Um, and this is the, the Impala that I've been working on. So, um, yeah, I don't, I, I hate uh, just changing parts. You know, it's something that I wasn't accustomed to, that I'm not accustomed to. Um, but I, I can honestly say I'm a bit rusty with uh, troubleshooting and that kind of stuff. But that hasn't been my forte, I guess you can say. Um, uh, yeah. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this short so I can, you know, start troubleshooting. I, I might uh, but can I, um, record some more stuff and hopefully I, I learn how to put this together uh, on the computer or whatnot, but if I don't, then it might be in segments, which is stupid, but, um, yeah, if you guys know any, uh, YouTube, um, things, how to, like, make the videos longer and that kind of stuff, like, put them together, you know, uh, let me know on the comments below, um, <clears throat> other than that, um, thank you, and, uh, I'll be back.